Hello friends, this is Odds, and as I'm sure you've heard from many sources, the nurse, aka the strongest killer in the game, is getting a small nerf in the upcoming patch. Uh, long story short, the extremely powerful and also very easy to use range add-ons, both of them, gone and replaced by other things. The also extremely powerful and also extremely easy to use recharge add-ons, also gone. And if she teleports and hits you, those blink attacks no longer count as basic attacks. So things like Starstruck, Jolt, Sloppy, or Noet, and other perks that are similar that were pretty good up until now, you're probably gonna see less off. So from now on, uh, nurse players will have to run other slowdown perks that are passive and don't really uh, synergize as well with her power, but these are still very good, so this is not going to change much. And her add-ons aren't terrible, and she still has some decent add-ons, you'll see some of that, uh, but... Even though at the lower and medium levels, this is not going to make a huge, huge difference for her, likely. The funny thing is that at a higher level, Blight might actually overtake her as the strongest killer in the game. Now, we made a, a video some time ago where we put together one of the strongest nurse players ever and one of the strongest Blight players around, and we made them play against some insane survivors. And already in this video, you could tell how insanely close Blight was to being as good or better than Nurse. Ultimately, we decided and concluded that Nurse was still a little bit better, especially if Blight didn't have his strongest add-ons. But now that Nurse's add-ons are not quite as good, I, I, I think I'm pretty confident in saying that this killer, at the higher levels, will probably be even stronger than Nurse. And when he starts to show up as number one in tier list, and when he starts to overtake Nurse in tournament and so on, many people that look to play the strongest and most fun killer around, they will gravitate towards Blight even more than before. And what this is going to mean for you, if you play Survivor, is that you're going to see even more Blights than before. And I don't know about you, but I already see more Blights than any other killer, by a pretty good margin. Unless a new killer like Wesker just came out, it's Blight, 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 something else, Blight, Blight, Blight. And this can be a bit annoying. I'm gonna give you some advice on how to counter this and how to be prepared for this uh, future of ours that is very likely to happen uh, by giving you some build advice super quickly and also showing you a game where we talk about his add-ons and some of the do's and don'ts against Blight that will probably help you survive against them a lot more. First things first, if you have medkits and you are afraid of Blight, bring them. They help a lot. They also help against most other killers. Anytime you are by yourself, you heal yourself quickly. If you're healthy, you now can help the team and do all the good stuff. Um, being multiple people injured against Blight is super, super difficult. He can quickly escalate the violence and the pressure, and it's bad. So bring a medkit if you want to be prepared for it. And that is another one of those perks that against the average killer is not too bad, but against Blight is really, really good. Blight does not have a great choice uh, of timing as to when he's going to hit you, especially if you play tight. So if you don't make it too obvious, and he has to hit you on his final rush, Deadheart can be an amazing second chance. Now, luckily for you, Blights have one thing that makes them a little bit predictable. Since they have a big mobility, they try to typically bring generator perks, and when they hook someone, they try to immediately go to gens to make those perks really, really work. And this means that they don't camp or stick around the hook as much as other killers. You can use this opportunity to bring Kindred and know exactly where he's going, maybe one of your teammates if you're the one being hooked. And then quickly swoop in, get an unhook, and use a perk like Will Make It, which is a common perk that everyone has access to, to quickly heal the person. I have found myself many, many times healing someone, maybe uh, with Sloppy Butcher or anything like that, where the, the heal is just a tiny little bit too slow, and by the time the Blight has gone around, kick a couple of gems and comes back, that heal gets interrupted last second. With Will Make It, you have a guaranteed uh, way to heal someone in about 8 seconds after an unhook, which is really, really nice. Again, being healed against Blight is paramount. If you are not playing uh, with friends, the fourth perk can be anything you like here. Win this opportunity would be good, especially as a solo. Uh, prove that self if you need the points. Off the record to keep yourself safe, uh, which would be really nice if everyone has off the record, because then with Will Make It, that person, uh, a few seconds after being unhooked, now needs to take several hits to go down. But if you play with friends, there are even stronger perks that are a little bit riskier that you can bring. We'll still keep Dead Heart, but now we'll add Distortion, which will warn us if the killer is running Lethal Pursuer, which is super common on Blights. And also, if he has Compound 21, we'll know immediately when we're in chase, and we can tell our teammates, which is very, very useful. It's a interesting add-on on Blight that makes him able to see you when he bumps around you. And if you know it's there, you can play around him very differently. And if you don't know it's there, it's really hard to know why exactly he keeps out playing you. So Distortion is a great perk. It also lets you take a little bit of a step back at the beginning of the match and let your teammates take some of the initial chases so that then you can go and hit them with Deliverance. And Deliverance against 
the blight is an amazing perk it helps with economy of, of survivors of not wasting too much time it also really rewards you for taking him into a corner of the map and then allows you to uh get off by yourself maybe have off the record on top of it maybe eventually use your med kit and sit on a gen and make the team much more efficient as we mentioned it is the kind of he's the kind of killer that that will go away so you're likely to use it and still be mostly fine so these are the 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 builds that i would recommend if you're struggling against uh blight but it's not just what perks you bring it's also what you do and how you read his add-ons and his intent and this next match will probably give you a few tips that you might find useful uh, thanks so much for watching hope you enjoy it uh oh it's a blight The fact that that was extremely close to a hit is a very scary shot. He did use all of his tokens though, so we should be fine. For the time being at least. You guys think he's got speed add-ons yet? I think he's got speed add-ons. I don't know what gives it away. Hey, the fact that he's extremely fast. He's got a bit of downtime, so we're going to use the downtime just to move a bit. Oh, he's going elsewhere. Don't get grabbed, anyone. All right, so if you see him use one and cancel, he's going to have his power was immediately. If you later notice that he's got, um, what do you call it? The adrenaline vial, then he gets his power much, much faster than usual. It's like a recharge uh, nurse, but on blight, on steroids. The way you'll know it's an adrenaline vial it's because he'll do like seven uh, rushes instead of the usual five. So you'll see him bump, 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 bump. And he'll do like way, way more than you're used to. Even if you lose count, it will feel wrong. So that's how you know it's adrenaline vial, right? And then you need to know that the timer is shorter. And then there's also another add-on that is quite common that is... I mean, what am I telling you guys? You see it every day. It's the alchemist ring. With the alchemist ring, every time he hits you with his power, he has his power back available immediately. Let's get your butt shot. So if you get hit by your by a power or someone else gets hit by a power, even if it's like borrowed time or something and you don't go down, he has it back immediately. So those situations, you expect the power back very soon or almost immediately. Until you have seen those situations, you assume that he's got more normal add-ons, which is typically... Okay, you go. Which is typically um, speed add-ons mostly. Which is what makes him go so, so fast after a couple rushes. But remember, the speed add-ons on Blight don't make him faster overall like Billy. His first uh, rush is the same as usual. Is, uh, is this a contest? He's gonna check left, right? He's gonna check left when he comes. Wait, he's not checking. Is he going after Vittorio? What the hell is happening, chat? Yeah, he's going after Vittorio. I don't know if I can do this. I can rescue, but uh, I think getting this person off the ground is maybe more important first. If we can get away with it, maybe they think. Go away, lady, go away. You should make it. Go away. Use your brain too. Okay, sure. They all have medkits, dude. <laughs> the best... The, the best thing about medkits... That we're not taking advantage of right now. Okay. Which is the fact that we can actually split up, you know? So yeah, until you know that there's the alchemist ring or the adrenaline vial, you assume that the killer has speed add-ons. Which, as I mentioned, do not make him any faster on the first rush. Or two, really. Uh, the problem with the speed add-ons is that they increase 4 and 6% every subsequent one. So, so once he's already done 1 or 2 or 3, then that is very, very noticeable. And then you need to assume, you know, you, you need to try to play around that. When you see him do like a couple, uh, like a couple bumps on purpose, uh, that's also a really good giveaway that he's got speed add-ons and he's just charging it up. Uh, and that's mostly all the add-ons that you'll see, those I mentioned. Speed, um, Adrenaline Vial, and Alchemist Ring. Then he also has the fun little add-on that can make him instant on you on your final rush. You guys know about that, the Eerie Tag. That one's rare, Eruption. Or Infectious, probably Eruption. Mm. So that one you don't need to worry about too much. And unfortunately, he has a really nasty add-on too, which is even more common, called the Compound 33. With the Compound 33, he slows you down. No much counterplay to that. And... 
yeah, I mean, we can try, but it's gonna see us. Yeah, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh, no. That's a really common trick that helps a lot. But the good, but the thing is, it never helps, it never helps for long. Like, good blights don't fall for it, or maybe fall for it if they're distracted, and immediately get used to it, you know? So it's not gonna help for very long, I would say. Whoa, he came around that corner. He doesn't know where I am. I'm pretty sure he doesn't know where I am. So we prey on his ignorance a bit. Alright, I'm gonna go. We have a pallet gym next to a gen that's completed, and it's the only completed gen. He has time where he can't use his power, so we're gonna take advantage of that to just delay him longer and go to a place that we know he's a little bit weaker at. That was really good from him, however. Really, really good. Uh, another add-on that I didn't mention that is relatively common on Blights is the Compound 21. I'm dead. Uh, there's nothing I could do. Um, the Compound 21 makes it so that when he bumps into something... WHAT ARE YOU DOING, LADY? NOT THE TIME! Don't even bother, please! Just sit on gents. Um, the Compound 21 makes your aura visible. That is such a bad idea. You cannot body block a hook twice, chat. You cannot body block a hook twice. When w Once you take the first hit, the killer loses collision with you. You've seen that a million times. You get hit, you go right through the killer right after. So if the killer is not stupid, and let's, let's assume this guy is not stupid, he's playing well, he's gonna literally just ignore you and go to the hook and press space. And then later, if he needs to, maybe he'll hit you. Worse, if he has a good sense of timing and he knows he can get away with it, he'll down you and still hook. So that was a terrible, terrible play. Terrible play. I'm sorry, but just, just all around. Just absolutely terrible. Don't do that. And, you know, if you just happen to be hiding next to me and I'm under a pallet and you want to, like, pressure the killer, risky against the blight, but sure, do it. Who knows? Maybe you rescue me and we win the game. But she was coming from a mile away. Like, you can't do that, dude. You can't do that. Good dead heart from, from Dwight. That's probably one of the reasons you see that perk you so often it can counter and get you out of clutch situations i'm just gonna pretend i healed her in case killer comes after me all right and just like that chap we've done two gens and we've given the killer five hooks who do you think wins at this rate who, who do you think who do you think is gonna win if we if this keeps going i have i have my theories but we have a gen here chat oh yeah yeah we, we, we are missing a gen here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is not good, dude. This is so, dude. This is so in the open. If you see him, it's out of the tool. Like, like. Uh, do I trust Kate to go for this? I'll go myself, I guess. If he has barbecue, he won't see me because I have off the record, which hides my aura, which is cute. Because it would really, really help. Even though I've lost the endurance. Like, right now, if I get hit, off the record does not. Okay, doing amazing work. Uh, off the record does not protect me from the from the down, because I've touched a gen, right? That's a conspicuous action. But the secondary effect of off the record, which is no auto reading and no injure sound, that stays. So if he has comp on 21, this would counter. The funniest killer counter for this perk is Mirror Myers. If Mirror Myers sends you to like a uh, hospital or something, and he hooks you and you come off, and the only thing he has is seeing your aura, it doesn't work, which is funny. I guess Hi, Manny. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Chad, if we lose this match, we'll go play VHS. But it's okay, we do have some perks to keep ourselves safe. Uh, I'm looking at the team, though, and I see everything, like, go wrong. Like, that guy's gonna be interrupted. Very well done. Very well done. Very patient. That guy had been going around. I thought he'd be defending the hooks. So, I can already tell maybe what perks he's got. I, I think he has lethal because he zoned in on us really quickly at the start. And I also think he's got eruption because I heard someone scream. So, it wouldn't be crazy at all. It wouldn't be crazy at all to say that maybe we can tell the entire build. I'm gonna guess the entire build chat. Okay. Um, there's only one thing I'm 50-50 on. Number one, Shadowborn. Doesn't don't ask me why I think he just smells like a Shadowborn player. Shadowborn, uh, Calibrine, Eruption, Lethal Pursuer. Ah, uh, never mind. 
It was not Carlo Brian, it was Overcharge then. Yeah, Overcharge. Maybe instead of Shadowborn. And then I'm gonna guess double speed? Or more likely... More likely speed and compound 21 if he's got lethal. Then again, the lethal could have been wrong. I love incapacitate it. Yeah, I'm glad I touched that gen for one second. Question is, do I want to fully open or... Nope. I'm gonna wait until it hits the A. And then let him check once. If he's too smart, well, GG's. Let's just say... I probably the worst possible timing in history. Thanks, bud. What the hell, dude? What the hell? What the hell is that timing? What the hell, dude? Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Chad, I was right. I was right. He did have Shadowborn. The only perk I called off was Call O'Brien for Overcharge. Which, let's be real, is it's like the cousin of Overcharge. So, yeah, dude. GG, Blight, number 6,045. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> uh.